I missed something once before. I won't, I can't let that happen again. It is her condition and her obsession. She doesn't want to wake up tomorrow and learn that if she was right, she didn't do everything she could do, even at the price of her soul. When Alex and I sat down and conceived this, it was based on an Israeli show called um, Abducted. What the show was based on really didn't apply to, to this audience, and we found ourselves asking, how do you tell a thriller in the post-9-11, post-Abu Ghraib, and post-Guantanamo world? We both felt that the, that the story is of these guys who come home from those wars, and how their lives are changed, and how they are expected to act in a certain way, and how yet their homecomings are quite complicated and quite difficult. It's always been a great subject for, for drama, which is the coming home. What do we do with our warriors who we train and uh, expect to kill? And then we come back to a civil society where they're supposed to keep it to themselves. And it's been a staple of drama for a long time, and it just is not on the air now. So it's kind of what made us excited to do it. Harry's mental illness is the compulsion to protect the country, but it's also her greatest flaw insofar as the obsession causes her to be blind to what's the truth sometimes. What Carrie does by watching is she recognizes another damaged human being in Brody. And she herself is damaged. He's making contact, Saul. He, he's sending a message to somebody, a handler, a sleeper cell, somebody. Homeland will challenge people's notions of what a hero and a villain are. We definitely anticipate the audience believing after certain episodes that he probably is guilty and after other episodes that he is probably innocent. The show lives in that complexity and lives in that uncertainty. We never want to be polemic and we always want to present both sides of the issue. If we can get the audience to sympathize with a character who might be a terrorist. That's a big one. Then we've succeeded. Homeland, new episode Sundays at 10 p.m. Only on Showtime.